Oh my lord. That is real sweet. But that's a fine right there. That's a nice one. Good morning, good morning. Man, you gotta check this out. It's a big one. I think he's still there. It's a big old snake. See him? He's about three foot long. He's fat though. I think it's just a common water snake or possibly a water moccasin. I don't think so though. I think he's just a water snake. I want to go down there and see if I can, how close I can get to him. Oh, surprise, surprise. A baby raccoon. Maybe that snake is trying to get this baby raccoon. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? You're so cute. Look at you. Is that snake trying to get you? Hey, buddy. <laughs> you got rabies? I'll see if I got any snacks in the truck and come back and try to feed you. He's starting to move. Hey, buddy, he's trying to get that. He's trying to get that back home. Hey, buddy. Woo Go up to the truck and see if I got any snacks for you. Ooh, you stay over there, boy. Hey, raccoon. Don't go away. Got snacks. Well, I got some bread for him. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it on down here, but he went in right through here. So I'll lay it right here and see if he comes back out. Hey buddy, where'd you go? You better stay away from that big old snake. Oh man, check out this old house right here. We got foundation stones. The old kind. Big old stepping stone right here and here. Over there. This thing's getting ready to come down. They're over there right now developing this land. Ooh, there's a lady right there. That's modern. Oh, check that out. Old tin right there. It's like a peacock or something. It's nothing. Looks like we got some modern jars. These are baby food right here. That is a beer. Looks like a aspirin right there. Maybe better aspirin or generic. Look, there's a shoe. Tenor shoe. Maybe Converse or something. There's a boot right there. About size eight. Work boot. Sweet. I could see a mustard back there. Plastic dog. It's kind of modern for as old as this house is. Look how old this thing is. Coming into another room here. Look, there's the stairs right there where you would would have went up to the uh, upstairs. But now it's 
all broke down. There's the upstairs lady right there laying on the ground. <laughs> Nothing but sky. Sweet. Ooh, that's spooky right there. You see it? Here, I'll show you. Ah! Chucky. <laughs> There's another room right here. This would have been maybe the porch. Tin roof. Baby food jar. See what's through this door. Hmm. This could have been like food storage or something. The shoe. Not a boot. What's this? Nothing. There's another boot in there. It's a red boot. There's a shoe. That's a piece to a cup or something. ACL. It could be kind of old. See, but you see the date on that? Little oh, baby food jar. I've been seeing some coal out here. Some more coal for the fire right there. Wonder what this was. Ooh, that's the well, dude. Man. Ain't dead body down there? Dude, I just thought it was a pipe right here laying on the ground, but it's a well. Hmm. I stumbled upon the uh, washing machine. Old rocker washing machine. Hmm. Over here I got some more tin. Maybe this was an outhouse or something or another structure. Looks too big to be an outhouse. Yeah, they had electricity run through here. Here's the uh, porcelain light fixtures right there. Looks like I found a bottle, but it's encased in this root right here. It's a federal law brown bottle. I thought it was a cork top at first. Check out this coke right here. It's probably broke. Yeah, I can see it's probably broke right there. Coca Cola. And it's an older one, too. Let's 
Salisbury, North Carolina. Too bad that's broke right there. There's another beer right there, or soda. It's kind of cool. Cool shape to it. This bottle looks pretty cool. Maybe a syrup or something. We got a turtle over here. Eastern box turtle. Pretty. Hey buddy, where are you going at? Hmm. That looks like some kind of stove part right there. Ah. That's the top half of an old stove. That's kind of cool. Oh, cast iron up. I got one just like this at home. They make them real cheap. I mean, the front, the bottoms, and the uh, tops are uh, made of cast iron, but the sides are like just like a tin, like a double walled tin. And it had a lid. It's where you would uh, maybe cook right here. This has another apparatus that uh, you connect your stove pipe to. Another one of them wells. Now, check. check this out. Mmm, creepy. She's old. Perfume bottle right there. The creepy closet. <laughs> Go through here, and there's another door right there. <laughs> Look how little it is. Maybe about six foot tall. High. Both of them. There's another room right here. Old boards. That's where you had a fireplace also. There's that other door right there. Huh. That's a whole mirror. Is that mustard? That's shoe polish. Some old clothes and stuff.
Oh man, all that good stuff I was into and I'm back here at the dump. Check this out, I found a spoon. Cheers. She has seen better days. But uh, I wanna do some dump digging now. Found me a nice little hill with a lot of uh, dump. Well, I guess that paid off because I, next, next rake I popped out a marble right here. Ooh, where'd it go? There it is. Looks like it's waiting blue swirls. Sweet. That's going to be a pocket keeper right there. Nice. I'm right here in this rust layer now. And I think I just popped out a marble right there. No. That's a freaking light bulb. Sucker. Oh baby light bulb. Let's see what this is. A broke jar, sucker. Man, bottle cap. <laughs> what the heck is this? That looks like a little baby bottle or something. Oh, I know what that is. Maybe Easter color bottle or dye bottle. I'm into some jars and stuff. Oh man. Oh, orange juice. We got cave in. Whiskey. Not a whiskey. Who is that? George Dickel. Hmm. Hmm. I must be down to a good spot because I got a big metal tank in the way right here and I dug over there a little bit there's a couple things sticking out a couple bottles there's a Pepsi right there but over here I just popped out another marble right here Ooh, where'd you go brother Looks like red and milky white swirls. The glory of a marble. <laughs> nice. That's a pocket keeper right there. Whew. I wonder what that bottle is. Oh, it's stuck in there pretty good. I think I want to try open up another hole and over here I've been doing some other digging so I'll do some scouting around for some uh, stuff that may have washed out that's pretty cool right there just popped out this tin cup maybe a measuring cup one cup never seen them like that before made out of aluminum Came right in now there. Come on, marble. Ooh, what's that? A perfume bottle. Yeah. All right, I just moved over to this spot right here. I just started beginning, and uh, right up here, I think I popped out another marble. Oh, I didn't pop it out, it's just laying there. It got exposed when I raked this uh, hill down, cleared the brush out. But right through here, I've been finding a lot of uh, marbles just like on the surface by just clearing the brush. Let's see what that is. Hmm. Looks like yellow, like a pale yellow and milky white, clear base. Nice though. Sweet, there's the yellow right there. Nice little shot of it. 
See my finger behind it, that's a clear base. That's a pocket keeper right there. I'm gonna get in here a little bit and see what I could do. But I still got some more bank I gotta search over there for uh, anything exposed. Ooh, there's a fork. Plastic fork. It looks like it's in good shape. Uh, I've been collecting these forks and spoons, so I'm gonna add that one to my collection. Ah, man. Just like I studied uh, how to dig in the dump, I mean, it's unbelievable when you get down to a rust layer what pops out. So uh, this Coke bottle popped out, but I wonder, you know, it's all broke up, roached. But I just wonder if that marble was in that Coke bottle right there. <laughs> See, it's green. Looks like a cat eye. It looks like a cage cat eye. It don't look like it has veins or anything. Just broke up veins. That's sweet. Come on, focus. I can't get a focus. Anyway, I'll clean them up and show you. It's a uh, yeah, good way to see my ramp right there. And just get down and get down some trash and bring it up the ramp. And uh, just sit through it, take the time. Just rake it up like that, and you'll see stuff pop out that you want. See that? What the hell is that? Man, it's kind of heavy. Maybe a uh, propane tank. It could explode, I don't know. Just rake this out. I was like, what kind of freak show is this? But that's, that's a bicycle, dude. There's the seat right there. That's the frame. All roast out. Baby food. There's my rant right there. Hmm, what is that? A whirly gig. I don't know, some kind of spinner or something like that. Blowing bubbles or something. Just popped out. What are these? Aluminum cups. Yeah, they stuck together. Hmm. Sounds like there's something in the, in the bottom of them. Better not be a marble. Yeah. Put it down here and let it soak for a while. Gotta see if it's marble. Hmm. Looks like we got a cologne sportsman. Cologne. You can see like a, a, a fish or something right there. I wonder if that's going to stay on there. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I'm going to give it a little rub test. Yeah, it's going to wash right off. Hmm. I'm in here now with my hand rag just trying to clean out. This hole a little bit. I just popped out a nice Yahoo Mountain Dew. <laughs> ah. 
ACL is pretty good on that one. There's a fuse right there that just popped out. <sighs> Looks like clear one. Uh, I'm about done with this hole. I'm getting tired. And I can hear the thunder on the rise. It's a nice uh, overcast day. I still got some uh, searching over there to do on uh, some, see if some things washed out. If I find anything else, I'll give you a uh, sneak peek at it. But here's the destruction on this hole so far. Got a big tree right there. I'm digging under. Here's a look at the Mountain Dew all cleaned up. She coming out good. She looks sweet. Man, I was getting down over here before. Look at that destruction. She got this plate right here. Pears. Cherries, it looks like. Just found a cobalt blue uh, jar right here. The good old Noxzema. You remember that, right? They still making that stuff. Check this out. Ooh. What the hell? That was an old teep. Nice flowers on it. Sweet. A little shard of a plate right there. This rose. What kind of bottle this is? It says something on there. We'll pause that and take a look at it, but it's it's kind of cool. It's got these stripes and stuff. Nice. That'd be the second one of these I found today. Now I got two. One more, we'll make a collection. It's starting to rain now. I just, ow. Uh, spotted this bottle right here. Let me see if I can pop this out real quick. Oh my Lord. That's a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Sweet. Oh. It's a whole one. Oh man, I've been searching for one of these whole. It's a debossed 1024 Dr. Pepper whole. Oh my lord. You never know what you're gonna pop out. That is sweet. That is real sweet. Right, it's starting to rain right now. I'm gonna have to get out of here. But that's a fine right there. That's a nice one. Well, there she is, all cleaned up. 1024 Dr. Pepper. Winston Salem, North Carolina. She looks sweet. She got some scratches, but she's beautiful. I've been searching for you for a long time. These bottles right here come in the uh, the green and the clear. I want to say this this bottles. I can't find a date on it. Pro, it's probably in the 50s, early 50s or late 50s. So I looked at a few of them online, and that's what they were dating them at. 10-2-4 and the beautiful Dr. Pepper. Sweet. 
Well, that's all I had time for. I'm out of there and I'm back home and uh, yeah, the rains came in. So I found what I was looking for, some marbles in that Dr. Pepper. That thing is sweet, man. Um, yeah, and as always, I appreciate y'all watching Arrowhead. Adventures and treasures. We'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Hey boy, what you doing in here? What's up? Look what I found. What did you find? Dr. Pepper. Oh snap. <laughs> 1950s. Nice. It's an old one. Yeah. You wanna drink out of it? Hell no. Did you wash it? <laughs> yeah, I washed it.